Hello everyone and welcome to Halo Infinite. We're finally here, the release date of the campaign has arrived, a worldwide simultaneous release so everybody can play the game at the exact same time instead of uh, us in Australia being able to play it on the day of release much earlier. They've uh, shifted it up for, for this game so Midnight release? Never heard of it. This game came out at 5am and it's all installed now. I've had my breakfast. The day is not very nice weather outside so it's fine. But the day is beautiful because who cares about outside when you have Halo Infinite and a Halo ring to explore. An open world Halo to check out. I'm so interested to see what this game's campaign is going to be like because we all know how the reception to the to the multiplayer and, uh, you know, the current internet being in flames about uh, Halo Infinite. You know, we know what the, the current climate is like. But I'm really curious because the campaign is getting some raving reviews and people are very happy with it. Uh, so we'll have to see how, how we feel about it ourselves. I'm so excited to jump into Halo Infinite. Uh, this will be my first blind Halo experience on the on the channel. Uh, you may have seen some videos popping up if you're, uh, if you're a regular on the channel that I've been playing um, the Halo campaigns as like a co-op marathon uh, with my friend Dex, who has been playing through them for the first time. That's been a lot of fun, but this is my first time now and we're gonna sit and enjoy the experience and uh, see what it's going to be all about. Uh, for context about Halo and my understanding of the, the world and its lore and all of that kind of stuff is um, I have played every single Halo game, uh, including Halo Wars 1 and 2. So I'm very, very excited for Halo Infinite specifically, including the Banished as they're one of my favorite enemy factions and I it makes me like so happy and it made me so happy to learn uh that they were like integrating or bringing in you know the Halo Wars story into the main storyline and that makes me so happy such a good such a good game incredible cutscenes incredible storyline everything so good so very excited for the banished to be in this game uh I am not like hugely into the lore about Halo to the point where I'm like, I know like everything, but I'm like aware of events and things that have gone on. Um, you know, I used to read the Halo books when I was a kid. I love Halo, okay? I love this series and I'm very much looking forward to how Halo Infinite is going to, is going to do things. So without further ado, let's get into Halo Infinite. I hope you guys enjoy the playthrough. If you are new here, welcome. Hope you consider sticking around. They've got plenty of games on the channel for you to check out and Halo Infinite is just one of them. Let's play the game. We're going to jump right into the campaign immediately. We got that all installed because there was no preload. There was no preload option. It was very much just wake up, install the game, have some fun. So this is our new game for the campaign. I like how the camera panned down to the to the chief there. Let's explore Zeta Halo. We'll be playing on heroic difficulty for our first playthrough. Your foes are well armed and resolute. Quell the storm and ride the thunder. Recommended for veteran Halo players. No skulls have been collected. Three, two, one, go. Let's play some Halo. Fuck that jackal in particular. Dude, these cut this cutscene looks incredible. Grapple hook the pistol. Atriox, dude! If you knew how you were going to die. Dude, Atriox! Let's go! How would 
to live your life differently. Dude, Chief was so much more mobile than fighting him compared to how he was fighting Spartan Lock, like a bulky tank. Holy shit! Holy shit, Atriox just fucking schooled him and the grappling hook failed. Dude, that's how the game starts. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. Now oh, they've remade this cutscene from the from the original reveal. I guess they wanted to make his uh, shift to like the time jump more obvious with like his hair and all of that kind of stuff. We've seen this cutscene. This was the reveal of uh, of Halo Infinite. So we've seen uh, we've seen the updates of this. Uh, where we've seen the updates to Chief's armor, where it was it's less shiny and green and more like w tattered and weathered, but haven't seen the change to his appearance, which is really really cool. Show Daddy how big you are. Can you sing? So big. So big. Good. And can you sing? Mary had Good singing. How about I miss you? I miss you. And I love you. I love you, Daddy. I'm good. I can say I can't wait to see you. There we go. The shift of time is so much more obvious now. The hair and the beard. That's a great way to like show the passage of time. I really like that. So it's been some time. It's been some time since Halo 5. Wake up, buddy. This is UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNSC. I love the detail how they've added the grappling hook, like being like out in space, like Looks like the main power cells are fried. Armor shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to overwrite. God, this looks gorgeous, man. If you can hear me in there, I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please don't die. <laughs> yes! 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 We're going home! <laughs> oh. Welcome back, Chief. I rerouted what needle power I had into your suit. Oh, he's moving it like... I'm seeing it. 20 frames per second. At least I think it's a calibration matrix. Okay, follow the light. <laughs> look up. Look at the top light. Now look at the bottom one. 
Now look at the top one again. Now the bottom one. That seems fine. Let's try right. How expensive this gear is, son. <laughs> yes, man. I know how to look. Functions seem to be operational. But it looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Try moving it. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in here to check the diagnosis on your armor. Whoa, 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 easy there, big guy. You're not. Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. Dude, he looks so good. The time they took to improve and refine the graphics from that original I reveal. Lost. So good. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I don't think where here is. That is another Halo. Again. We need to run. I need a weapon. Weapon? This is all I've got. It's enough. <laughs> it is for the chief, baby. Wait, what? What are you gonna do? Improvise. Close the door. He has such a Halo 2 chief attitude about him with how he talks. I need a weapon. New mission, warship. Oh, wow, okay. This is how it starts, new mission. Main are shut down. We're stuck out here. You have one bullet against an entire army. That's all the chief needs. I told you. It's enough. So I see. Remember, baby, we started Halo 1 with no bullets. <laughs> They're powering up a stasis beam. Uh, we can't escape. You work on the batteries. I'll buy us some time. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You made it. Dude. Now what? Now what? Dude, what an opening, right? What an opening. That was so cool. Um I was not expecting Atriox to just show up and school the chief and say good night. Oh my god, that was so cool to see him again. Uh, the impact of the impact of his appearance is just so felt, knowing his story, uh, which is a reason why the Banished are so compelling, and I can't wait to get into that dynamic. It's it's so good. It's a great way to still have the Covenant type enemies still be. Uh, the enemies, uh, without them being the traditional covenant, you know, or like splinter cells and all that kind of stuff. But so exciting. Um, love the reveal. The updated graphics of that first cutscene was great. Obviously, we'd seen that up until he went to jump out of the jump out of the ship. Uh, but really cool to see the updated visuals that they've that they've put in there. Uh, that was. Uh, it was very, very fun to watch. The musical cues are great. The dialogue with Chief starts off really, really good. Um, I need, I need a Halo movie. Anytime I see those cutscenes, especially Halo Two Anniversary, I'm just like, Blur needs to make a movie. Um, but this is, this is so sick. So um, we're gonna stop, we're gonna stop fanboying, and I'm gonna. <laughs> 
<laughs> play the game. So scan reveals your current objective and their waypoints along with nearby weapons, interactive objects and collectibles. Tips can be disabled in the UI settings in the game menu. Um, I will open up the menu just to check out audio levels because I might uh, drop my sound effects ever so slightly so I can make sure that my volume is pretty good. Uh, recording is always, always the big challenge. We need voice and music to always be, uh, always be massive. Loud sounds are loud, quiet sounds are quiet. Or we can have compressed mode, which all sounds are mixed evenly, so everything can be heard at lower volume. That's a curious one, because I like being able to pick up the quieter sounds. We'll keep it at dynamic. We'll see how we go. Uh, we will keep subtitles on as well, which is good. I want to make sure we've got our subtitles. And all of my stuff should be the same from the multiplayer that I've played. Yeah, so everything else should be fun. Warship Gabrakon. Gabrakon. Let's get it on. We can't go anywhere while that stasis beam is active. Then we shut it down. Stasis beam, weapons, all of it. What? How will you get back? I'll figure something out. Also, I'm just, in general, a massive fan of the Brutes, so I'm very happy to do, like, a rematch here as we, uh... Chief, whatever you're planning to do, do it fast! Well, I want to explore, man, because this place is massive and I don't even know what to do yet. So our grapple shot is not uh, infinite use in the campaign. It is still limited. So there you go. Oh. What was that sound? Oh, wow, that's so good. You going to come investigate? Ah yes, the plasma pistol. A weapon that they made completely useless and redundant. I'm sure we'll find a use for it at some point. Am slightly salty that they removed the plasma pistol's ability to uh, disable vehicles, because that's what it's always been for since forever. And now it doesn't, because they brought in a new weapon type to do that. <laughs> the grapple shot is a launchable hook that attaches to objects. Use it to pull yourself towards enemies and places or pick up items from a distance. I'm not very good at picking up items yet. I never think about that, because I'm so used to just running over it and picking it up. But I have gotten used to using the grapple shot in multiplayer to be Spider-Man, and it's great. Dude, the environments look great. Just taking a just taking a look around. I wonder how easy these skulls are gonna be to find. <laughs> They're probably not gonna be, you'd have to think uh very much outside the box, I assume. You found me. I am going to turn these tips off because I do not need them. <laughs> Get these tips off the side of the screen. That's fine. Can I hold the big one? No, just the small one. Was <laughs> he just playing on the fucking monitors? Oh man, they've nailed the grunt straight away, which is great. Do you know what I used to like 
what you could do with like the the grunts helmets you could shoot them off while they were dead and see beneath them which was which was really cool we had a visual on the halo ring Also, this is the this game is the uh, this game is the has the best pistol, not magnum, but pistol. I, in my opinion, it's so much fun to use. I've been obsessed with using this pistol. Guess I accidentally made victory. Someone tell the fruits. Ah. What are they doing here? Because is this a... Uh, is this a... So this is a banished ship, but there's a bunch of, like, green UNSC type wreckage and shit, and they're, like, taking all the... taking all the parts? What are they doing? It's interesting. That is sort of like the Brutes, you know, or uh, well, the Banished, like, MO, all of their, like, weaponry and, like, gear and stuff is very much, like, thrown together type stuff. It's all, like, I guess that's probably what they're, what they're doing, actually. baby let's go oh, okay our first brute <laughs> punch you in the face for death good our first brute Charm. We stand together. Fight together. Lay down our lives to protect our creed. Atriot showed us the way. Together, we are invincible. We are the banners. Okay, so we've got Esharam being like the spokesperson right now. Sup, baby? That hologram. It's Atriox. He led the attack on the Infinity. He was looking for something. He... He killed everyone. I know. We met. No more problems. No more prophets. No so cool. No more prophets. No more lies. Oh. They got ammo refills. Okay. Grappling hook is infinite. It refreshes. Okay. Now it's just so much more fun for me. Good. Because I, I just saw that it has like a number one. I was like, oh, do we have to like pick it up? But no. <laughs> I can certainly fight, bud. I can certainly fight. Oh my god. Throwable like plasma and blast coils is so much fun. That's great. Prepare for deployment. 
dude. Anyone want to play? Oh, I'm gonna have to use the grappling hook here. I can't hold on to this coil forever. I'm looking at someone to throw it for. Oh, I can still keep it. Okay, that's cool. Jackals, get out of here. Oh, they sh they've changed hands. They're right-handed now. I swear they used to hold it in their left hand. Maybe I'm just crazy. I haven't got much sleep, so I could just be misremembering that entirely. Let's have a look at that face detail. How are you looking? Where's Craig? What have you done with him? Where is he? Their faces look good, but like, can't beat those Halo 2 brutes, man. Like, especially with how they look in um, Halo 2 Anniversary. It really is the facial hair, I think. Like, it's giving them these massive beards instead of like, goatees that I think makes it so effective. That's why Tartarus looks so good, man. Oh, his head's gone. <laughs> Dropships. An invasion force. How do we stand a chance against all this? The vanished one already. We could be the only two humans left alive out here. Then there's still hope. Ooh, play UNSC audio log and add to database. ODST audio log time? Audio log found. Does it play automatically? Yes. Captain Lasky. Spartan Griffin. Spartan Vettel. If you're not already off the Infinity, disengage and get to the lifeboats ASAP. Wind 401, we got a lot of personnel on route to Zeta Halo. What are you seeing out there? Banished hardware's everywhere, in the skies and on the ground. Spartan Makovich. You heard her. Stay safe. I'll see you on the ground, Spartans. We're with you, Griffin. Spartan Stone, Spartan Horvath. Dude, so sick. Okay, love this so much. Uh, audio log is gonna be fun. We got grenades, baby. Let's go. That's not how it's supposed to go at all. <laughs> Sorry, eating your words. Let's, I want to get used to using this Pulse Carbine, because, to be honest with you, I think it's a little trash, but I just am not getting used, I haven't gotten used to it. It's, it's pretty hard to use, especially in multiplayer, compared to other guns. I just missed the plasma rifle, dude. Perfect opportunity for them to... Perfect opportunity for them to have brought back the... Um, perfect opportunity for them to have brought back... Brought back the Brute Plasma Rifle, you know? Because it's red! It's the perfect colour for the Banished. You know? Perfect colour for the Banished. He's like, one bullet, it's not enough. It's enough. They're, they're observing and scanning our weaponry as well.
Trust me, it's enough. We started Halo 1 with a Magnum that is not kept loaded. We can do this. Even though we walk out of the door and automatically pick up ammo in that game. <laughs> So cool. The jackals being very vocal is so interesting. They sound they sound strange <laughs> compared to like what I'm used to hearing from them when they just make a bunch of just noises. That pulse is pretty cool. Gotta come boom you. Yeah. I meant to do that. It's a turret. Oh, you can't use that against me now. You just fucking dodging for your life, aren't you, sir? <laughs> oh my god. Should be able to go around, right? I just love how vocal they all are. They're all just like trash talking me as I punch them in the face. It's amazing. Plasma cannon, let's go. This brings me back to Halo 3. Look at that. This looks so good. Chief's armor looks so good. It's the best he's looked since Halo 3, so, you know. So happy for the art style. Halo Wars 2 did it first. Let us remember that. Let us remember that. Halo Wars 2 took us back to this art style first. Soon, the banished will stand victorious. Patriarchs, hear these words. Even from beyond this life, your will is served. Your forces occupy the ring. Within hours, it will be under our control. Humanity will tower before your legacy. They will burn. Their praise and defiance will be all but a memory. Who killed Atriox, though? That's really interesting. Your will from beyond this life will be will be honored. Who killed Atriox? We have a new problem. We? We need to get out of here. I'm working on it. Work faster. These pelicans nearly on board and the power's still out. Don't let them get me. If there's not a there's not an opportunity for a Chief vs. Atriox rematch in this game, then unfortunately, that's kind of sad. It would have been cool to be like get beaten down at the beginning of the game and then work towards it and like <clears throat> fuck him up. Like I haven't looked too much into the story details for this game because I want my first playthrough to be mostly taking all of this stuff blind. So I haven't looked into much outside of certain trailers that have been shown at like E3 and like stuff like that. Uh, so I didn't know Atriox just got offed off screen. I'm hoping that we maybe could see that. Maybe there'll be a cutscene that shows something what happened, because I know that there's been a time jump since Halo 5. Um, it would be cool if maybe it was the Arbiter who killed him. Uh, don't spoil it, or don't tell me who killed him if you guys are, have looked into things or are already aware. I mean, I'm playing this as soon as the game came out, so I'm assuming that this information is not really public yet, <laughs> or spread all over the internet. But that's a shame, because Atriox is amazing, so... 
I mean, it would be nice if that was a fake out. Maybe he's not dead. But we'll uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Because he's a great, great villain. So I'm hoping that his death was at least worthy of, uh, you know, a good cutscene if we ever get to see it. Otherwise, I'll be sad. They just wanted to give us a new villain, I guess. And his name is Asharam. You found me, did you? Ah, oh, yes, the Ravager. It's not the best weapon, but we'll... we'll... There you go. It's a bit better in campaign, not in PvP. Where's the music at? Am I interacting with this? No. Am I interacting with this? Yes. Disable stasis beam. It's locked down. Requires a hack. Okay. And you can do that. No. <laughs> the ship. You are going to destroy this ship. We've all seen it. <laughs> I'm going to die here. I love how no hesitation, no hesitation in that response. It's just like, it needs a hack. Do you know how to do it? No. <laughs> just punch monitor. No, I don't know how to do that. I don't need to. All I know is fist. I'm gonna warm things up. Dude, Chief is so good. <laughs> ah, this is good shit. We eating good right now. <laughs> oh my god. I love being able to shoot their helmets off, it's great. We'll go back to the mangler, I like it. I mean a few. Ah, the plasma shields deflect the grapple hook, but it does stagger them. That's good to know. Ah, shit. <laughs> I killed the demon, ha <laughs> ha! Not in a world of checkpoints, baby. Wait, did that blow up? No. Damn it. I thought it would less look like a timed explosion. Let me try that again. There we go. Anyway. Nothing seemed to happen. I'm not done yet. Well hurry. I can see them. Brutes. The, the little things. All waiting. I'm not gonna let any harm come to you, Echo 19. It's 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 such a such an obvious callback. Obviously it's not the exact same call sign, Echo 2 219 instead of Echo 19. But it rolls off the tongue just as well. He's Echo 19 to me. Let's do it, Fohammer Rep 2.0. Well, you're right about that. I did fear that for a moment, didn't I? No! Get ready. Okay, okay. 
Fire up those engines, Chief. Maybe we'll survive. Maybe we'll survive. <laughs> and then we all die in combat, and that's the end of Halo Infinite. They were like, guys, we only had the first mission ready. Uh, the rest is actually coming uh, in six months in an expansion titled Even More Infinite, and it'll be another 60 bucks. 60 bucks per mission. Didn't you guys get that get that memo? And no campaign skins for the multiplayer. <laughs> I gotta say that I'm very happy with the multiplayer so far. Uh, it's leaving a very good impression on me. This feels so much fun. Let's fucking overload these engines, baby. Let's go. Interesting. So I like the I like the approach where they're taking where it's like the covenant call you demon, we call you prey. This music is sick. Ship escape, baby, let's go. <laughs> it's the warthog run, except Chief is the warthog. I'm out of ammo for my pistol. Today is a sad day. You won't like me when I'm angry. All right, brute. Ooh, what the fuck? Ah! The floor is lava, literally. Oh, I hope we're going down here. <laughs> hmm. Ah! <laughs> okay, we are going down here. is already ours. Dude, this is good. Oh, okay. Sick. Let's go. Dude. a total Master Chief in the books moment. Let's fucking go! <laughs> okay, so, 90 seconds to full charge. I hope this place holds together that long. Charge faster! No, the grenade! <laughs> 
And that's how Chief dies and falls out of the ship. And then Halo Infinite Part 2 is we float through space for another few months. <laughs> Until Echo 220 picks us up. And then we try again. <laughs> It was almost flawless. I just had to fuck that up with a grenade. They didn't explode that time. Ninety seconds to full charge. I hope this place holds together that long. Charge faster. Much smoother that time. Oh. <laughs> oh no, sorry, Echo 216, not 219. It still it still rolls off the tongue quite well. Ooh. Dude, just seeing the Halo ring in orbit, even though it's a busted up version. Just so interesting. I wonder what blew up that portion of the ring. Oh. <laughs> bring in the opera, come on. Bring in the choir. Where's the vocal? Mission successful. Infiltration complete. Subsystem failure. You still with me? I'm here. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to get you. I need the uh, to hit as soon as we saw that ring, man. So good for momentum when you're in space to use the grappling hook. The first mission of Halo Infinite completed. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Couple of deaths, that's okay. Scrub them from your mind. UNSC Infinity. UNSC Infinity. Class. Supercarrier. Crow size. 7,150. Not found. Near field perimeter scan. 1,986. UNSC tags detected. Status. Deceased. Dude. Everyone's fucking dead. The Master Chief lives? Atriox assured us of his death. Are you not angered? No. No. I feel invigorated. You promised us revenge, superiority, renewal. He threatens everything. Do you question my leadership? Atriox is vision. Atriox is dead! It is his fault that we are stuck here. The vanished will never bow to anyone again. Not the Covenant. Not the Prophets. Not her. Ooh. Ooh. This ring will be operational. Please. Then you will have your revenge. Oh. Blade Master. Follow the Spartan from a distance. I want to know everything about him. Uh, he doesn't speak. Blade Master. 
our Spartan killer with the red blades. That looks sick. Accept. Encrypted message file. Read. Attempting decryption. Decryption failed. Locate message source. Triangulation in progress. Triangulation in progress. We're done, right, Chief? If we stay out here any longer, they're gonna come back. They'll find us and they'll kill us. What is it you're searching for? Match found. Signal located. Waypoint uploaded. There's nothing there. You're looking in the wrong direction. We need to go home. Plot the waypoint. Requesting manual flight control override. Do it. Autopilot engaged. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Why would we go down there? The Banished plan to wipe us out. All of us. And what? You think we can stop them on our own? <laughs> <laughs> I told you. We lost. We need help, not heroics. No, we do our duty. Protect humanity, whatever the cost. I can't be the only- Entering atmosphere. Autopilot disengaging in five. We have a new mission, soldier. Four. What is it? What's down there? Three. A weapon. Two. A weapon? One. How many guns do you need? What is wrong with you? Remind me to never pick up a Spartan. This is a terrible idea. They're coming for us. All of them. <laughs> Dude, yes. I've still got my fucking plasma coil. <laughs> the elites. Good night, sweet prince. Alright, it's elite time, okay. Lots of banished craft heading your way. Dude, what? Let's get violent. Only one elite so far, but that was cool to see at least. As much as I, you know, wish that we weren't fighting them still, I know that they're not the same covenant or elites, but you know. Oh, I grapple hooked <laughs> into the grenade when it when the um, when the grunt misses his chance to get the sticky grenade on you, so you just help him out, because you're just a true bro, you know? You just needed to... Needed to make him get that victory. I am just going to get killed again. <laughs> so satisfying to kill uh, the banished when oh god so satisfying to kill the banished when they're in the middle of like trash talking oh god that phantom's struggling to fly through this area looks like it's dying like it's clinging to life somehow how is that possible Chief! Chief! Dead humans are the best humans. Chief! At least the loading is uh, nice and quick for all of these constant deaths for a MLG Pro. Lots of banished craft heading your way. Yes, bounty! 
Dude, that lack of shield recharge. It's taking so long. I'm not very good at the mangler. But I'm enjoying it more in the campaign. More reinforcements! This weapon of yours must be worth it! This whole place looks like it's dying. Like it's clinging to life somehow. How is that possible? Each ring is different. I see an entry point in the wall ahead. Get in there. Find this weapon. Then we can go. Right? Yeah, I'm sure. That's exactly what will happen. Oops. You sure about that? Dude, these doors! Oh man, the architecture of Halo. Ooh, we got the Sentinels coming out too! Oh wow. Look at this place! It's beautiful! And broken. Very, very broken. I need to move. There are bad ships. Everywhere. Whoa, disintegrated. <laughs> really like how they're doing the atmospheric music in this place. It's so... There's just such a, like a beauty and mystery to this place, which is exactly what Halo music should make you feel when you're navigating, like, Forerunner architecture. <laughs> That was good. Love a bit of accuracy. Meant to do that. Put myself at a disadvantage, you know how it is. So I could do that, you know, it was all part of the plan. You're a demon. You will die. <gasps> ah! Spartan runs for his life like a grunt. <laughs> Did not go down like I thought he would just then. I want to get a good look at you. Dude, they look so good. Did I ever tell you how good you're looking today? It looks so classic. My favorite. Zoom! Send me up the beam, baby. Still haunted by Cortana, I see. It's very Halo 3 with those whispers instead of having the glitches on your screen. environments are nothing short of incredible. 
Give me a sec. What's down here? Oh, I think that's the other side. Okay, that's where we came from. I'm not going to waste time trying to grapple hook my way across where I came from. Open sesame. I missed my pistol. Oh, my sidekick back. Dude, that shield. Interesting. God. Elites. Elites are much more resistant to needlers. Is it even working? Can you even needle through their shields? I don't think so. Not at least from what I was putting into them. Damn. You have to take their shields down first. You can no longer do the great tactic of just needle... Needle the elites. Haha. <laughs> Pulse Culbine's gonna be good against the Jackal's shields. <gasps> we got a red one! That is a red one! Too late. So accurate. All of the Cortana whispers. Soundtrack is incredible. Dumb question. How do you know this isn't a trap? I don't. Great. I hope this weapon of yours is worth the risk. I'm reading multiple enemy ships heading this way. Too many. We're running up. Cortana. The rogue AI known as Cortana is gone. She's been deleted. How? By you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. So if it wasn't you... Okay, then. There's something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. <laughs> Good. Good? My programming failed. I'm not supposed to be here. You need to delete me. No. No. I was created for one purpose, and that purpose is no longer needed. My mission is over. We have a new one. The Banished are planning to fire this ring. We need to make sure they don't. First of all, what's a Banished? Second, you may have noticed that a significant piece of this installation has been damaged, making that impossible. And third, to fire this ring, they would need an activation index. 
Cortana had the Index. I had parts of it as well. Something stopped your deletion. We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The missions change. They always do. Are you sure? <laughs> cool. That's really, really cool. And interesting. What is going on? So... No. Removing me triggered a response from the ring. I need you to understand. There's not much time. Dude, Jen Taylor is such a talented voice actor. Like absolutely incredible her range of doing voicing the weapon as a much younger naive character it's like what's a banished and what's going on here and like there's a bit of like you know just like that young attitude and then cortana is much more like uh refined there's like a lot of history in her voice and a lot of battle and a lot of stuff in here and i just love how uh, the di how it's um, how the voices differentiate in in such a good way while still sounding so much like Cortana. Like this sounds like Halo One Cortana, you know, compared to how Cortana sounds now. If you knew how you were going to die, if you knew how you were going to die, how would you live your life differently? How would you live your life differently? So we've got the weapon in our head. It's Cortana. And Cortana's whispers. No, it's not her. Just dust and echoes. What did you say? What? It's just pieces of data cycling until they run out of power. It's all around us. Today, I was called an emotionless automaton. Wow. 75 healthy subjects. Handpicked by me. Perfect for the program. They will not all survive. I understand that and have made peace with it. Mostly. And then also Halsey as well. Halsey's voice. Does live through this. He is perfectly suited for what is coming. John. Interesting. So, it's just... I'm wondering how... I am really wondering how the connective tissue of Halo 5 is going to come in because it seems that they they obviously have done a time skip. They're pushing away from stuff, uh, but they're doing the angle that they're going for where there's stuff that's already happened. And then it's like we're kind of, I guess, on this journey of discovering like what actually happened during the events of the campaign. He has been assigned a number. One, one, seven. Damn, dude. There's something up ahead. I can feel it calling out to me. Dust and echoes, and we're just hearing these echoes and memories. It's so cool. Very interested to see where this story is going to go in this dynamic. Affirmative. They smell even worse than I imagined. <laughs> what? Smell them. <laughs> well, an array of sensors in your armor can, and I analyze the input. <laughs> you smell fine, by the way. Oh my god. This, this, is, this is a good dynamic. I really like this dynamic as um, a grizzled, you know beaten down chief who has lost Cortana and this fresh new like weapon AI that has been repurposed to imitate Cortana uh, so it's like there's a story reason for her existing uh, but they get to we get to have that dynamic again in a sense that's the source the bridge is out yes it is maybe there's a way to power it back up nearby 
Not mad about it, but I'm very interested to see how this is going to go. I remember the, her Cortana saying that. They'll pair you with another AI. You know Oh man, it's so interesting. I'm I'm so curious as like how this is gonna go. What was that? Do 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 do. Retrieve data. There's a really weird camera perspective for a moment where my arm is like this yes it's safe this this is part of me I don't know why I don't know how but it is me it was the last part I remember being deleted. Let me just... You are here because you were chosen. Our enemies are getting smarter and more numerous every day. What I am about to show you will help turn the tide of war. I have been working to harness the strategic power of a shipborne AI onto the battlefield. Are you ready? Yes, Dr. Halsey. Unlike previous AI models, she will reside between your mind and the suit, directly communicating with your neural interface. Think of her as a new set of eyes to aid your reactions and upgrade your reconnaissance. Bruh, it's the first Cortana. She's not the driver, but a way to level the playing field. What do I call her? Ask her. She named herself. Hello, Master Chief. I'm Cortana. Dude. Together, you become our newfound hope. Together, you become our key to humanity's survival. She will do anything necessary. To make sure that your mission is accomplished. Even if that means sacrificing herself. Or you. To accomplish it. What happened? I touched it and... Was that real? It's just data. It's... It's just here. Clusters of recursive code. But this, on the other hand, this is the framework I use to trap Cortana. It contains a copy of the activation index, at least fragments of it. What should we do with it? Do we need it? Well, based on what you've told me so far, the bigger question is do the banished need it? Do it. Fragments of data, what a cool little scene of the introduction of, uh, or Cortana Something being purple. A file that's been unlocked, but I don't have access. We need a route out of here. Okay, let's see. There's a breach close by. It should lead us to the surface. There's a file that's been accessed. Was that the memory of, that we just witnessed? Dude, the architecture of this place is so good. They've nailed it. 
Yeah, whenever I put my arm out, there's such a weird, like, angle with the camera sometimes where you can see, like, part of your shoulder that you shouldn't. It's a bit strange. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be that way. Meet me at the plinth up ahead. <laughs> All right, let's go. Surprise, human! I mean, who's surprising who, really? I do like the stalker rifle, but at the same time, my brain just goes, isn't this like the carbine's job? <laughs> Sometimes they just like, when they bring in new weapons, being like, cool guys, look at this new weapon. It's like, hey guys, remember the carbine? It kind of did this, it kind of did this job already. They could have just adjusted the carbine to be plasma based that needed a cooldown and it would have been fine. I miss the, I miss the carbine already. It's one of my favorite weapons. And then they retired the DMR, they were like, who needs it? What you need is this weapon called the Commando. It's a perfect gun. Remember the saw from Halo 4? I don't. Who needs it? It's gone. It's gone now. <laughs> we just put them in the bin, and then we just make a bunch of new weapons. Just seeing if there's anything hidden. Who knows, might find a skull down a corridor. But we have not we have not looked uh, hard enough to find a skull. That's for sure. Wow, you got here fast. Not the type to waste any time, huh? No. <laughs> Noted. Let's go. I I really I really like her. I think she's great. I was a bit nervous when they first revealed like the weapon. But uh, I got I to gotta say, I'm actually, I'm quite pleased with how her character interacts with the, the chief and I'm very uh, excited to see how that's going to grow. Oh, that's a brute. Do me a favor, you get off of that turret, please. <gasps> oh! There's a grenade right next to me. Fuck it. <laughs> right towards the camera. Why did it go for so long? Alright. See, that's the... Le where's my stalker rifle gone? Ah, oh, we're not at the very beginning. Okay. I thought that checkpoint took us right back to the start again. Guys, you need to chill. It wasn't supposed to come to this. Right, I'm gonna try the plasma pistol out. Give me a real fight. The fight against the plasma pistol is a real fight. See, look how much damage it does. How many back smacks do you need? So weird that the plasma cannon sounds like it's shooting bullets. It sounds like it's actually shooting bullets instead of it being like an energy based thing. Which I know is not the case, but at the same time it's like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Sounds like a normal t like UNSC turret. Ooh, we got another audio log. It's a banished audio log. Nice. Let me listen to it. Tremonius has found the object. Tremonius. Even in my darkest moments, when I feel the most lost, Atriox's wisdom continues to impress me. I regret that I ever doubted him. His talk of forerunners. Of their lies, of secrets hidden in this forsaken ring. Ah, Atriox, hear 
I just don't want to walk too far ahead in case like the dialogue gets cut short by like story dialogue. So we'll, whenever an audio log plays, we'll listen to it, you know, just in case. They probably allow for you to walk through the level while listening to it, but I don't want to risk it. <laughs> what? Hey, mate. Whoa, we got. Oh, no. What's wrong? This gravity lift should be powered up. We need to find a way to bring it back online. No, my turret. Can't take it with me. This object, it's part Ooh. of the ring's life force. It's called a power seed. Nice. We got the skewer, baby. Oh, so that's the noise when, when you put do -do 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 -do, when you put a power seed. It's such a weird noise compared to the rest of the noises we hear. The whispers of Cortana are very interesting to listen to. The yearning amply fed. Is this like you know data, but could it also be? Could it be, you know, chief subconscious as well, maybe influencing these thoughts potentially? Of, you know, echoes of what Cortana said to him in the past and how she'd feel knowing that she's been replaced with the weapon. Stop. How is is that a Spartan? <gasps> find out what happened. Dude, look at the massacre in here. Mjolnir suit upgrade. You know, shield she upgrade. Was carrying an enhanced shield module. Let's see what I can find out about her. Accessing. This is Spartan Bonita Stone, recon specialist. Her vitals have been offline for nearly a month. Damn. Cause of death was an energy blade, but different, stronger. A single strike. She never saw it coming. Damn, dude. So we saw Stone, Spartan Stone, on uh, feature in that UNSC audio log. What would have been a really neat touch at this moment, because obviously, oh, hand to hand. Okay, as you sh as you shoot me. Okay, there you go. There's our hand to hand. Um, what's what could have been done here? Because obviously we're seeing that like. She's been dead for like a month. Obviously, it's been months of us drifting in space with Atriox. Check this out. So we're learning about some history that's happened in the game through audio logs. They're like giving us the history uh, of like what's been happening while we've been away. Perfect opportunity for an audio log here to maybe give us some last final words from from stone like let's say that like the single strike from the thing like wounded us and then like she was like left there to like just bleed out and said some final words but it looks like no time for that this uh this stronger energy blade obviously just probably wipes him out uh instantly and she never saw it coming we're here that elevator should take us to the surface Don't do it. Don't do it, mate. I must live. Looking for a good opportunity to use this skewer, but not on not on basic enemies.
<laughs> Trying not to get sniped. <gasps> I was just around the corner. I was so close to being in corner. I should put a, probably should have grappled. Probably should have grappled hooked around the corner. That would have been better. We're here. That elevator should take us to the surface. Oh, you're still alive. What the f <laughs> Bounty for King Ya. King Ya, stay away. Oh shit, we're gonna, we're gonna die the exactly same way, in the exact same place. Oh, that's what you get for telling me that I was hiding. <laughs> Make your head out again, sir. I'll make you regret it. Get skewered. There's another one around here, right? I'll take that. That I need to go. Ah, uh, it's, it's a plasma-based weapon, so I can't just go across here and get ammo from the other one. That's a shame. Oh, you can't. Hang on, no, you can refill plasma uh, weapons now, can't you? Yeah, it does refill because they've got little containers, little ammo containers like these. Such a such an interesting change. I mean, it makes sense to me that you should be able to like refill the plasma in a thing instead of like could you imagine how not good for the environment covenant weaponry is you use it and it's burnt out and then see you later but i guess maybe you know in universe you could probably like put it in a little recharging station or whatever but when you're in battle you just use it and then toss it but i like that you can actually just recharge it in the game <laughs> it's radius is uh very good there you go that's funny It'll... yep praise gone pulse alarm Maybe there'll be a plasma like refill around here so I don't have to go across to the other. There's a kinetic refill. Hard light weapon required. You can refill that as well. Where's the plasma refill in this in this joint? There it is. There is one. Cool. Alright, let's throw oh, that's a big one. Can't throw that. We need Sounds to call good. down the elevator. Look for a control terminal. Let me just have another look around while I'm not being shot at this time. So there's a hard light weapon that I could get around here, I guess, if there's a refill opportunity for it. Looks 
looks like a spider. It's another one of these Forerunner tablet things. One of them had a bunch of human looking symbols on it. There was one where Esherim was at the war table and there was one which looked different. And then there's that one that looks like a little a spider. It's a scarab! Which is interesting. Not sure what that's about, but we'll just have to wait and see. What are these things? Genetic repositories, forerunner storage vessels. They're elites. Silexes. How do you know this? I was stuck in that room for six months, surrounded by them. Let's just say they talk a lot. Huh. Elites? Humans? Don't know what these are. Uh... Looks like it could be like a mantis. See audio log. This is combat medic Lucas Browning. If you find this, you need to understand. They forced me to help them with it, whatever it is. They brought it up from whatever's below. When it opened, God, it was something different. I've never seen anything like it. You need to believe me. It's not my fault. Okay. Oh. Where do I put this power seed? Power from the ring. Well, it was. The seed is missing. Oh. <laughs> I was expecting to put the seed in the in the thing. Beat you to it. All right, now let's now let's do it. Yeah, the, my arm's broken. Forerunner, it identifies as vanished. Can you operate it? In my sleep? Not that I sleep, but oh, I don't need to. It's already on its way down. Incoming. Yeah. But what if it's a friend? Oh, it ain't. It isn't. <laughs> Esherim's orders are that you should be brought before him. He did not specify in how many pieces. <laughs> He's got a UNSC weapon. You got the fucking Hydra. Dude, boss fight. Let's go. Let go. <gasps> oh, I'm not falling off the cliff. That's okay. Surround him. I was going to try and lure him to that big uh, coil so I could blow him up. But hang on. I got interrupted by a... Jackal! You bastard. Oh, this they're, they're stronger than normal as well. Different color scheme, which is cool. You there. Here, come over here. Come here. You are the last of your doctor. Damn it. A countdown. I should have shot it again. No matter. Your time is very Tremonious. You were right.
right, he was not friendly. By the looks of him, he was some sort of leader. They called him Tremonius. Not anymore. <laughs> That's almost funny. <laughs> That's almost funny. Love it. I am. Right, I'm gonna get rid of this thing. Time to take the elevator up. First boss fight, they get like an actual health bar and everything. It's very interesting. I repeat, multiple banished craft are converging on your location. They're coming for you. Sierra one one seven, understood. I've been trying to reach you. You vanished. I thought I was on my. Okay, I got your location. On my way. Be ready. Nice. That's cool. That's our second mission completed, and it jumps right in to the next one because it looks like there ain't no stop in this train we're on, baby. The loading screens are very, very short and sweet. New mission, Outpost Tremonius. Cool. Uh, this is a perfect time to bring this first episode of Halo Infinite to a close. So thank you so much for coming with me for my first hour and a half of Halo Infinite. I am quite pleased. Good first impressions, that's for sure. Uh, it feels good. It looks good. The story is compelling and it starts off really well. So I'm really curious uh, to see how it's going to how it's going to continue. So excited to keep playing. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode and we'll uh, look forward to future episodes to come. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.